So how did a bird that inspires so much passion start working for a rafting company 14 years ago? What we did the first year, we, we immediately hired a photographer and we would tell customers, hey, we took some great photos. If you like to buy them, you have to buy them sight unseen, but we'll get them to you. They're X amount. If you don't like them for any reason, send them back and we'll refund your money. We sold photos, but not as many as we thought we should have. So out of that whole conversation fell this idea of we need something like an eagle or some bird that could just bring them back, thus the pigeons. The initial reaction to this suggestion, however, was hardly one of confidence. I was like, shut up, stop lying, you know, like, no way, no way, you're pulling my chain. It's classic for raft guides to pull your chain all the time. And then I saw the birds and they're like, saw the cage, saw the backpack, and I was like, wow, you're, you're serious, all right, so yeah. About a month later, I started working on it pretty steadily. But we would tell people, sorry about your photos this year, we're gonna mail them to you, but next year we're gonna have some pigeons that bring them back. And people thought that was a bird-brained idea. But we continued to work on it and uh, Pigeon Express happened. But like all labors of love, getting the Pigeon Express operational took a very, very long time. Sketch to 19 took almost a year and a half. What delayed us was I didn't have a pigeon. But once the small detail of getting the pigeon was taken care of and the backpack design was finalized, the bird's training could start in earnest. It took months to train the birds. Some of the simple techniques we would use is we wouldn't feed them until they came home. So they got rewarded for flying home. And then we'd take them down the street to like a quarter of a mile, and then we jumped to a half mile. So it took months to do that. But how can a bird with a brain the size of a posh petit pois pea navigate its way home from 30 miles up a canyon? Or, as is the case with some racing pigeons hundreds of miles overseas, what routes are they taking? What senses are they using? It's kind of a mystery to everyone how they home I, I have no idea to tell you the honest truth. Nobody really knows. There are a lot of theories. 